Goat Cloud Communications, helping you to thrive online. Well, hello there. Today we're going to be talking about comments on the web. Um, specifically, this video is going to demonstrate how to set up your WordPress website so that you can accept comments on it. It's a really good idea. Um, as um, we write about, um, the web is a social place. To the extent you have more quality content or in, in comments, which is content, on your website, the better. It's going to be better for your visitors. It's going to be better for search engines as well. So let's look at WordPress and see how we can make sure that we have contents, uh, uh, I'm sorry, comments on our website. So I, you can see that we're in the back end of the WordPress website. Um, if we look under here, under settings, down here, and we come to discussion, that's where we're going to find out information about how our website is set up to have comments. What we want to have here um, in the discussion settings, now again, this is just basic. There are other plugins that are available out there that might change the way this is done. But generally speaking, um, what we want to do, what we want to make sure we do here when we set up comments is make sure that comments are moderated. To my mind, there is no website out there that uh, is a reputable website that has comments that are unmoderated because the problem is you just get so many spam comments, um, they make the page almost impossible to read and uh, it's a disaster for your readership. So make sure that you are moderating comments. So. I tend to make sure that uh, comments must be manually approved. That means a real-life human is going to have to read them before they get posted. And if you, so we clicked on that to make sure, um, again, that the comment is manually approved. And we come down here um, and we hit Save Changes. Now there's a lot of other uh, tweaks that you can have here in the comment settings and I'm just really not going to worry about those right now because this video is just intended to say you know how do we set up comments to begin with now in the WordPress dashboard as well um, if you want to look at comments to see if there are any comments you can see over here there is a whole section called comments and we can look here to see if there's going to be any comments you can see we have one comment here um, and this is just generic. This is a developmental website. There's nothing for real on here. But I want you to take a look up here too because you can see spam comments. It's a good idea to have a plugin that is trying to identify uh, whether comments are spam or not. It'll block a lot of comments and that's a good idea so you don't have to worry about them so much. A Kismet, a K I S M E T, is a decent plugin. Anti spam is another one, but just look in the WordPress plugin repository and you'll find some good spam, anti spam, uh, anti spam comment uh, plugins available for you. So, what's it going to look like on a page? Well, let's take a look at um, posts. If we look at posts here, um, we can see all the posts. We're going to come down to that Hello World one and let's actually take a look at this particular post. I'm going to right click it and say view. We're going to open that in a new tab and we're going to see what it looks like. Comments most typically will appear at the bottom of the blog post. Now you can also have comments on pages if you want to. My Most of the websites I design tend not to have comments on WordPress pages because those are usually static pages. They don't change a whole lot. They're for a business. They're giving out things like uh, contact information or a mission statement, uh, services, description, etc. Typically businesses, nonprofits don't really want comments there. But on blog posts, that's a great place where people want to comment. So you can see there's one comment. This is just generic. It comes with the WordPress package. And then you can see down here too, it says leave a, leave a reply. And somebody can type in a comment. And we can say this is a test comment. And what happens is they'll post it. Now when that happens, um, uh, we should get a message. Oh, there it's, you know, <laughs> this says it's there. Now we'll go back to the posts. I'm sorry, we want to come back down here to comments. And let's see if it's there. Now I, I'll tell you, the reason why that was automatically allowed, we can see this is allowed, is because I'm logged in and this is a comment from me. But if you were to come to this website and try to leave a comment, it's going to show up in here in the pending category. 
Right now, there aren't any. Again, this is not really a live web. Well, it's a live website, but nobody is posting to it. It's just developmental to play around. So um, that's how you leave it. Now, Jetpack is a, another plugin that allows you to modify um, comments on your WordPress website. You can change this. Uh, so it's something a little bit more enticing. Um, it, you can change how comments are presented, etc. But generally speaking, it's a good idea to allow comments because, again, it's going to provide additional content for your website. That's a good thing. Um, you always want to respond to these comments because it shows that you're a real life person that's out there. Um, they can really be an effective way to generate enthusiasm about your website and traffic to your website. Now, one thing I wanted to say here, too, so if you change your mind about comments, let's go back to posts. We're going to go to all posts. Um, let's say you've decided, oh, geez, I don't want any comments on any of these. Well, you can edit that. You, you, can, you can choose one at a time, or you can choose all of them at once. When we come to bulk actions. We're going to say edit, and we can set the, con or the comment configuration on these as soon as this loads. Oh, I need to hit apply. There we go. What we're going to do, you can see right here, comments, you can set up for however many of those blog posts that you change. You can allow or not allow comments if you want to. If you make a change, just make sure you hit update over here so that that change applies. Now, I'm not going to change that right now, but instead, what I want to do is I'm going to go back to the posts. Let's take a look at these posts again. And let's edit this one. And let's say that we just want a um, comments. We want to adjust comments. We can have here. We can add a comment. Um, if there were comments down here, we could take a look at them. If you uh, want to see whether that comment section appears uh, in any post when you're editing it, um, if you come to the screen options, for any post, you can check or uncheck comments. If you uncheck it, you'll not see that comments uh, box down here in editing. And if you do check it, you will see the comments box. And there it is. So in a nutshell, that is how you deal with comments on WordPress. It's a good idea to have them. And uh, I hope that this tutorial provides some assistance to you as you put comments on your website. Thanks a lot for listening. Contact GoatCloud today to help you thrive online. Visit GoatCloud.com for more information.